Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome back to my uh, warehouse setup vlog thing. Uh, last time, moved in this, uh, where is it? There it is, giant bandsaw thing. This time we're actually going to get into uh, setting up the actual warehouse space. So if you know us behind me, we got some pallet racks already set up. I have some footage of uh, standing it up, so let's watch the racks go up and then we'll see what's up next. So again, big thank you to Donovan for helping me set that stuff up. Today, I'm gonna start on the uh, packing area setup. So I have all my sample chair kits here which need to move, and this is gonna become the assembly line area along this uh, whoop, little area here, working the packages in the boxes towards the outside so they can just go down to the bay door and go on to the UPS truck. <laughs> So uh, first thing today, I'm going to be setting up a little bit of shelving so I can get some stuff organized and uh, get all this mess of stuff onto some actual shelves. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I got everything at least somewhat organized. I will say if you're gonna buy boltless shelving like this, just get it from an industrial supplier if you have time. I didn't have time because I really want to get this put up, so I got this from a home center. It's a little bit uh, flimsy or thin, I guess, but you know, for what it's holding, it's gonna be fine. I, um, if you get one that has the single piece upright, that's gonna be a lot nicer than this two piece thing. It was kind of annoying to get that together. But again, for its purposes here, It'll be fine, but if I buy some more in the future, I'll just order it and have some lead time to plan for it. But anyway, I got uh, the prepackaged screw kits down here, so we can just come in here and grab the screws you need for every chair kit pack to go out. Most common things are right there in the middle shelf. The bags we use are up there, so we can quickly grab that box off of there, take what we need, and put it back when we're done packing. And then uh, stuff we don't use it often is up there. One thing I do need, or I need to make or something, is a roll holder dispenser thing for the bubble wrap and the foam pad. That way it's not just sitting there. We can actually like, you know, pull it off the roll like toilet paper, but uh, it all takes time, right? So I think I got a little bit of time left today before I have to head home. So I'm gonna move my sea of chairs over there 
just stick them on the underneath the rack just to get them out of the way and i think i'm also going to take this pallet of wood that's right here and put that on top of that uh that tall rack just to get it up and out of the way so that's that's the plan for the next few minutes here Okay, I'm still getting used to this thing. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's one of those things you gotta definitely get some time behind the steering wheel to get the hang of. Anyway, look at all the space we have now. So I have some tables coming, so we can set up some tables here for breaking down the pallets for the parts and sorting them, and then into the boxes. So this is gonna be a nice little area here for packing chair kits. And I'm still blown away by this. This space right here that I have like reserved for chair kits, that's as big as my shop right now. <laughs> it's nuts. So um, I'm out of time today, so I'm gonna head home and I'm probably gonna stop by tomorrow and uh, finish getting things set up for the packing party. All right, back at it again, second day, although some new stuff is here. <laughs> so my, uh, my buddy Al, same Al as, uh, as uh, a bands bandsaw Al. <laughs> yeah, he had some of these tables and benches and things that uh, he didn't need, so I took them off his hands. They're gonna work out really nicely for being able to break down the pallets of parts. So I'm gonna probably stick this unit here against the wall here, and the, uh, the sprayer thing's gonna come out here anyway. So I'm gonna move these tables around a little bit first, and then uh, probably start breaking down some pallets of kits, probably.
This is great. It's like a forklift obstacle training course. <laughs> so we got the uh, two benches kind of in this area so you can put a pallet of parts in front of either bench and you can kind of break down the pallets into the individual kits from there. So that's kind of the plan there. I'm going to roll this stuff back in and kind of see where things are at. And uh, I think actually next I'm going to go ahead and put together this stack of boxes so I can get this pallet freed up and uh, those boxes will be ready to go for uh, packing. Almost made it. One seam. So another thing that does is kind of free up some space and uh, organize things a little better because I have another 150 of these boxes coming uh, soon, so tomorrow. <laughs> so we'll have those. I only have one more of the little boxes left. So I'm just gonna put it together just to kind of get it out of the way and at least it's set up for uh, when it's time to actually pack. One thing I'm noticing is this bench is too high. <laughs> like, way too high. I'm gonna get the angle grinder over here and uh, chop these legs down. It's not comfortable at all. So that is a uh, skinny box. That's gonna be for the, uh, the rear legs. And depending on the style and quantity, it can have another component. So style three, we'll also have the back slats in here. And then you also have the uh, hardware kit as well. So that feels like progress. Next, uh, the other reason I wanted these things off of that pallet, because I was, because I want that pallet, which I somehow hid back there now, to uh, put some casters on, because those boxes, like the perfect loading height for them, is about 12 inches off the ground, and then they get kind of heavy. So I'm gonna experiment with the idea of having a pallet cart, which is going to be the right height. You can fit four of those onto a pallet, and once it's full, you can kind of wheel it out of the way, and then you can wheel in another one if, they, uh, if it works. So I got some casters. We're going to screw those onto the bottom of that pallet. It's going to be the easiest, fastest cart you've ever seen. Yeah, this is going to work nicely. 
get a hike. So of course, not the most elegant thing ever, but you know what? For five minutes, that's gonna work out really well. So we're gonna see, I guess we'll see how well it works. I'm not gonna get ahead of myself, but that's probably about the right height for packing. If we're gonna go higher, we're gonna put on a pallet on top of there to raise it up a little bit, but that looks like it's gonna be a really good height to get all the parts down into the big boxes. So I think the last thing I'm gonna do today before heading out is start breaking down the pallets of parts. So I have my orders here. I think there's a lot of number threes on there and I have a lot of number threes to ship. So what I do is uh, just pack essentially one species of one style and then of one uh, packing style or packing order. So the chair kits can be packed in either sets of four or sets of six. So a set of eight is just two four packs as far as the shipping department is concerned. So I'm just gonna, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna, let's do walnut style three and let's do, let's do six packs. So I'm just going to chronologically shift through here and grab a few walnut six packs just so I have an idea of how many actual kits I need to break down. So I'm going to start with this. Got one seven packs of six. Let's see if we can get out of that stack there. So this looks like we got style fours and style threes in here. So here's a style four press rail. And that's a style three lower rail. Well, maybe we'll do backsplash first. <laughs> let's, let's do that. They're right here. Oh man, that's, that's a lot of backslats. So this is all, that's all backslats. <laughs> well, we got, I got a, we got a few to break down here. So let's, uh, let's, let's do this one here real quick. So of course wood is, you know, organic and it's going to have different colors and shades and grains and textures and stuff. What I'll do is go through and try and sort and group the back slats so the people receiving the kit end up with three back slats for each chair that at least somewhat match the other three or the other two in that chair and the other ones in the set. So for walnut, for instance, you're going to have a little more cathedral grain like this with a little more purples going on. We'll have some straighter, more grainy looking stuff, a little bit lighter color to it. Uh, what else we got here? This is kind of green, it was more purple. Yeah, so they just kind of match up things that look like they should go together. That's a pair, so we need one more that match that. So that's, that's a chair, put that aside. So that leaves me with these three, which don't really match each other. So they'll go back into the pile and they'll get mixed in with the, uh, the next set of back slats. So now all I have to do, we're doing sets of six. Uh, so the packing order for this is going to have a set of four and a set of two be separate from each other. So I'm gonna do two piles here. So we need six sets of three, and then we'll just kind of bundle them separately because they're gonna go in different boxes. So I'm just gonna grab ones that kind of look somewhat similar and do my best with that. So that's four and six. Okay. So that is one kit, or one pack of six. Okay, that's seven sets of 18 back slats. So that's enough for the six orders I picked out of there. 
still of course plenty of parts still to go but i have to uh, i gotta head home i gotta go pick up some groceries and uh you know hang out with my kids so uh i'm gonna leave this here until saturday which is when we'll pick up with the next vlog and uh hopefully we'll get these three pallets all into boxes and out of here which would be super nice so i'll take you along a little bit on saturday so you can see what it's like to pack these things but um again my focus with the uh packing days is to pack and not necessarily to uh to film too much <laughs> so that's gonna do it for this one thank you again everybody for your support as i am venturing off into this thing so thank you again <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about the warehouse space, anything back in the shop, please feel free to leave me a comment as well as be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy working.